Welcome back. Now we will talk about Macro Recorder, which is also in the Developer tab. And you can see that there are a lot of options. We will go through them one by one. So let's start off with Record Macro or Recording a Macro. So what does recording a macro mean or what does it do? When you record a macro, the macro recorder records all your steps in VBA or Visual Basics for application into code. These steps can include typing, text or number, clicking cell or commands on the ribbon or on menus, formatting cells, rows or columns, or even importing data from one external source, say Microsoft Access. So, if I want to, if you want to like know it in a more easier way, this is a lot like copying a format or the commands, also like also the commands in each row and column or whatever you do. So what it does is when you type in this record macro and then start typing or start putting in data. So what it does is just copy or save all of the formats and all of the data which is done here an example when you add in a data like day there let's say there now in another cell you have to also type in there in c4 let me type in c8 so what we're going to do is type in goat and now what i'm going to do is go to home select this what we're going to do is make it center aligned select all borders bold and double underline italic now you can see that there's some formatting done in this cell you can also increase whatever you want increase the cell or the number and then increase it more or like decrease it and now even have if you have it colored what we're gonna do is when you go to a next sheet what you have to do is go to C8 again and then type in the same commands or same thing or same formatting again which is gonna take like a lot of time sometimes you might even forget some and sometimes you might not want to do it because it might feel like super repetitive this mainly happens when you are doing the title and we also face that problem so what record macro does is record all of your steps and your data and then helps you to put it wherever you want or even to the specific cell which you're gonna do it to so what we're gonna do first is let's show you how it works now let's remove all the formatting um, let's do white again not bold now firstly what, what we'll do is go to developer tab and tap in record macro now this interface opens up you've seen this interface in my first videos but let me show you how it works so you have the macro name so what we're gonna do is type in the name in what name you want to save your macro as in or this is also a type of command which you want to save as so what we're gonna do is save it as the title the it might not take a shift or a space so what we're gonna do is type in an underscore the title my bad and then you have this shortcut key command so you can see that control is always there and what we're gonna do is type in whichever number or whichever key you want to sign it as you have to remember that there are a lot of default shortcut keys make sure to not like save it as save it on them which overlays it and does not take when you work on Excel it does not take the default commands instead you will all always get the macro so what we're gonna do is you don't have anything as control Z I hope so so what we're gonna do is just press in control Z now you can see that there is another option which is store macro in so you can see that there are three options to choose from so there is personal macro workbook 
new workbook and this workbook so when you save it as personal macro workbook this will be saved on your account and you will be able to use it wherever you want but only you can do it but when you type in new workbook you can save your macro in, a, in another workbook and use it on that okay and when you just press on this workbook so you will be able to use that macro or command only in this workbook and even if you send it to someone else to work on it it will also work on that PC so for here I will just select this workbook and then if you want to type in description you can also type it and then what we're gonna do is just press OK now you can see that the record macro option has now been turned on and now it's recording so what we're gonna do is select on it again now I want my data or the title to be in C8 now what we're gonna do first is type in G O A T and then what I'm gonna do is align it to middle give it a border double underline italic bold and then change the font an example I want it to be like this so you get it uh, I will increase it a bit and now what we're gonna do is that we know that record macro or this macro has been recording all the codes or all the formatting and the data in VBA and turn it, turning it into a code so that it remembers all of the steps which you're doing so what we're gonna do is when you're done doing all of these steps in example I only did like four or five of them but even if you do like 600 700 percent or more this will also record each and every code or each and every formatting that you're doing and will allow you to use it or like reuse it on the next sheet or whichever place you want it to be but remember as I started on C8 and now if I also do again on D8 an example goat is not plan this has also recorded all of these now what I'm gonna do is stop recording now how will you use it in another sheet so what we're gonna do is first off go to another sheet and then you can see that there's an option called macros so all of the macros you save are saved here when you click it you will see that this interface opens up and you can just press on run selecting whichever macro you want and then you will be able to run it or just press control Z as I've saved it so what I'm gonna do is you can also see you can turn it on by using alt and F8 so what I'm gonna do is do the shortcut alt F8 and then you will see this and press run and now you can see that the same formatting has been done over here as I did not increase the width so it did not increase the width anymore if I did it before typing in data in sheet 1 this would also record that now what I'm gonna do is press undo again and then delete all of them and now what I'm gonna do is just press control Z now you can see that it has been saved so this is how recording macros work in Microsoft Excel or the VBA now you might think is this risky or another thingy which is like a key logger so let me tell you that a keyboard recorder or keystroke recorder which is also or is a macro recorder so it is a keyboard recorder which is simply a piece of software that records keystrokes to repeat them later and or save them as a keyboard macro unlike key loggers keyboard recorders are used for automation purpose only just like mouse recorders so developer and then just press record macro and all of the data you entry or all of the formatting you do and the work you do you will be able to reuse it or just simply paste the formatting on another worksheet or any other place you want it to be so it just saves a lot of time and a lot of effort so let's move on to the next lesson